Few subjects are capturing the interest of American industry as rapidly and thoroughly as the concept of re-engineering. Re-engineering is far more than merely modernizing plant and equipment. It requires basic change in corporate culture from top to bottom, a profound upheaval in how a company views itself and how it interacts with customers. Here's a sampling of what must happen when a company re-engineers itself. Teams replace top-down management style. Core business processes replace departmental functions as the chief organizational units. Employees are invited to contribute ideas and are empowered to affect changes. Manufacturing flexibility and rapid response become paramount. And most important, the customer becomes a full-fledged partner in everything the company does. The basic underlying principle of re-engineering can be simply stated. Any business activity that doesn't produce value produces cost. The ultimate goal of re-engineering is to maximize the value added while minimizing the cost. The exact details of re-engineering programs vary from company to company, depending on individual needs. A senior executive at Price Waterhouse, however, outlines general rules that apply to all companies. So there are some generalities that I think are very important. One, you have to have a customer focus. Two, you must address business processes, not functions. And three, you need to mobilize and get the organization committed. To be successful, all re-engineering programs require the active support and involvement of top management. 